Some of the union reps I talked to told me that if trains come to a stop on tracks like these you see behind me, we could feel the impact right away. Until the last few years, I love my job. Railroad worker Chris Bond has put in 25 years on the job. It's been three years since he and co-workers have had a raise. They're also concerned about working conditions, according to Chris. These guys work, work, work. They're hardly ever home. They're working nonstop, and um, basically they just want the right to have a, a, a life. You're learning territories. You're learning how to control in-train forces. This is Chris Bond testifying in Washington, D.C. to gain support from Congress. In Texas, railroad workers would strike at 1101 Thursday night as part of a nationwide protest. That would mean trains coming to a halt right away. I don't really see them landing in the middle of downtown Fort Worth and blocking everything up, but I could see them blocking some crossings somewhere. As the negotiation deadline approaches, Biden administration officials have a plan B to use semis, cargo ships, and airplanes to keep goods moving. We move everything. We move grains, we move fertilizer, we move ethanol to, for gas. I mean, you could just you could go on and on and on, consumer goods. Railroads have already cut back shipments of hazard materials and refrigerated products. The Presidential Emergency Board offer includes a 24% raise, a $5,000 five-year bonus, a paid lead day, and higher health care insurance. But all 12 railroads must agree as the White House pressures both sides to settle their differences. Nobody wants a strike. In Fort Worth, I'm Scoop Jefferson.